Huh? Ah, 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 ah. Now you're hurting the patient, Tito. Good morning, everyone. Do me lang, do me lang, do me lang. Um, welcome back to my channel. So this is a vlog. I will be vlogging the... Let's look for the lens. I think it's somewhere there. <laughs> I will be vlogging my anesthesiology rotation. In a nutshell, anesthesiologists are those doctors that make sure that you are essentially asleep when you have a surgery and you do not feel pain so that's what i'll be doing for the next three weeks um it's a bit hectic we had today's our second day and yeah we had orientation yesterday already and today and for the first week we'll just be having skills lab so we won't be going into hospital we'll just basically be learning in a simulation kind of area and then from the following week i'll be going to hospital so i'll be showing you guys just bits and pieces of this um anesthesiology rotation currently i am not completely ready i still need to grab breakfast quickly but i'm going in for my practical session and yeah i only have one practical session today from 12 until 2 it is currently 10 no quarter to 11 but um the reason why i'm leaving an entire hour early is because i'm going to spend the first hour with my clinical partner basically just practicing and then we're gonna go over into our first session so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the vlog and yeah see you. This is the limb of the patient. Okay. And this is the bag. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. waste my time. You know what? Let's go. Okay. Yeah. What I'm looking for is that the, when the oxygen goes down, the nitrous oxide goes down as well, because that's a reason. So you don't give our patient a hypoxic mixture. Mm -hmm. And then the reaching results should go on. Cheers! <laughs> We surely checked and clearly I had so much fun doing oh, it. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Sorry. Then I swat the top. Yeah. And then. Ah, ah, ah. Now you're hurting the patient. You, don't, up, you push up, don't. Push up, dots back. Oh my gosh. You lift the patient. You lift the patient. Yeah. I still don't see it. You guys, mine. I can't show. Oh, no. So you go in like this. And then. Okay, I can feel it. Can you see it? Can you see your larynx? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, that's what she said. But please learn how to test it. Rather do more than less. Yeah. Oh go go! Like I need like a bit of a skill. Like yeah, yeah, probably a lot of patients. Okay, so I wanna go over the machine one more time so I can leave, chat. Okay. Okay, so A is in good out. Okay, so we're gonna have our ringoscope. Okay, I can see. Can you see? Can you see the larynx? Good. Then you'd put a tube through there. Maggie, I'm now breaking his teeth. After the practice session was over, I decided to sit down and get some studying done. Dumelang everyone, first and foremost, Huafisha. Like, it's so hot. Like, it's crazy how hot it is. I, my room, so it's another day still in week one. 
um, in week one, like I said, we stay in the skills lab and we do procedures. We learn how to do procedures on dummies before we get to do them on real patients. So now it's currently around 20 past two. It's hot. Like, it's hot. And I can't do anything in my room. I can't study. I can't. It's just too hot. All I want to do is sleep. So what I did is I decided I'm going to go to the library. So with our library now, because of Corona, you have to book it. I book a session and yeah. So I booked a session for the afternoon. So I'm going to go there um, and get some studying done. I think I'm just going to study for about two hours. And I'm going to have an afternoon session of two hours because obviously it's much cooler in the library than my room. I have a fan, but like it doesn't, you know, it doesn't completely cool me down. Um, so I know the library is super, super chilled, like super cool. productive study session at the library I took a well-deserved break I spent the rest of the night just watching Netflix. It's a Saturday morning and I woke up nice and early, woke up at around 6. Um, part of it is because we are going to have a water shut down so I just wanted to shower and get into nice comfortable clothing and yeah so the plan for today was to study the entire day because I have an assessment next week. I literally had an assessment last week i meant yesterday friday which was friday i had an assessment yesterday which was a friday and i literally have another assessment on wednesday so that's like about four days apart so i was like okay it's a saturday and tomorrow i'm on call and monday i'm on call so i was like okay saturday seems like it's my only free full day i'm going to spend the whole day studying but i feel tired i feel so tired i don't know why and i took the afternoon yesterday afternoon off but I don't know, I'm still feeling very sleepy. I'm still feeling very tired. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make breakfast, go back to bed, and then rest until midday, and then try again at midday. Hopefully I feel much better then, but like I'm so sleepy. I'm sleepy, I just wanna chill. I don't wanna do anything. I feel like the week was long and stressful because of the assessment we had on Friday. So we'll see, things are not going as planned. I know I just made up the bed I made up the bed but I'm also going back into bed I'm just that person that I feel like if I got out of bed and I showered and I you know I got out of bed showered and changed my clothes it makes no sense for me to just go back into the bed so I make it up go make food and then come back into it again that's just how I feel I feel much better that way than going back into an unmade bed it just makes me even more groggy so Oh boy, you have to suck. 
silence Father Bernard because he knew your dirty little secret. How dare you? I humiliated myself in court for you, Father. I'm back in bed. <laughs> you could have used. I'm back in bed. You saw I tried to study. I literally didn't even like. I opened up the lecture. I opened up the notes, and I looked at the information, and I was like, no, no, I'm so tired. Like, oh. let me turn for some adequate lighting. Um, excuse my hair's a mess. Anyway, I'm tired. Like, I am tired mornings my days were not hectic to be honest i only had two hour practical sessions in the skills lab as i have previously explained that's literally all i had but of course i came back like before my skills lab i studied after i studied i did have an assessment on friday on the first friday and i also have an assessment that i need to be prepping for and yeah i feel like i haven't rested at all and I thought, okay, let me take the morning off. Afternoon. See how I'm but my body is like this now. So, um, considering, or rather in light of the facts that, <laughs> considering that um, on Friday, so basically the whole of the first week I was working and waking up early, including Friday and Friday afternoon, I spent it doing a YouTube video. So, I mean, it is a bit therapeutic, but it's not it's not resting in the sense that it's not sleeping it's not just sitting like for my body it's still work and yeah i did a youtube video and i edited and uploaded that and because on friday we were told that on saturday there's going to be a water shutdown so i had to make sure that i fill in whatever empty bottles i had with water that i wash dishes that i cook so that when the water you know is gone i have food um, i have clean dishes so and also I cleaned my room a little, so I just feel like I didn't rest. Because by the time I finished all of that, it was around 10 o'clock and then I had supper and then I watched one episode of How to Get Away with Meta. This was last night. And then, yeah, so this morning I woke up and I was like, no, let me take the morning off. I'll be fine in the afternoon, but clearly not. And I'm literally working from Sunday till, I'm working from Sunday till Saturday. I actually know I'm resting because I'm on call this sunday from i'm on call monday and then tuesday wednesday thursday friday i'm working like i'm going to hospital and i'm on call again next week saturday so from this week sunday till next week saturday i'll be working so when do i rest i'm resting today's cancelled i'm going to see again how i feel i'm going to so obviously i took the morning off clearly i'm reassessing the situation and the situation is not popping I'm going to take the rest of the afternoon off and at 5 p.m. I'll reassess the situation, see how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling better, great. We love it. We can study. If I am tired, I'm going to rest. Test coming or not, I'm just exhausted, so I'm going to rest. <laughs> Later on, I decided to go out and take a walk just so that I can get some fresh air. You see the difference now. If we change it, you know how. Nothing ever stays the same. Once you let it, let it change. Let it change. Let it change. Let it change. And yes, I do talk to myself when I study. I re-explain and teach an imaginary class. It just makes me process the information much, much better. So, I've been studying for about two and a half hours now. And... Is it two and a half hours? I started at seven and it's quarter past nine, so two hours, 15 minutes more or less. And I am much more productive. Like yesterday, I felt like when I was about 
when I was trying to study up, I was like, you know what, I'm giving up on life. But now nah, I'm all rested and I'm feeling good. I haven't had breakfast yet. For some reason, I'm not hungry. I just made my second cup of coffee and got more biscuits. And yeah, I'm about to go and study for another two hours. And yeah, I'll be covering the pediatric anesthesia lecture. And then, yeah, I'm going to study for a further two hours. Let's see, it's 9, 10, 11 two and a half hours maybe three hours and then i'm going to get ready to go to hospital because it's my first day in hospital today but it's my first day back in hospital and i'm also on call um the hours are 3 p.m to 10 p.m but they said 3 p.m to 8 p.m is compulsory and then 8 p.m to 10 p.m is not compulsory i'm most probably gonna stay just until 8 p.m just because I want to come back and if I can get some studying done I'll get it done depending on how tired I feel and if I feel too tired then I will just like have an early night sleep make sure that I'm asleep by 10 so I can be up bright and early the next morning because I'm such a morning person then I can study in the morning so yeah so I'm gonna go in for another study session I'm probably going to check in on you guys when I go to hospital get ready for hospital i'll just see on how my day goes so yeah no let's get one thing straight guys. <laughs> i studied so much and i know you guys are seeing a lot of study clips but that's just the reality of being a medical student you spend most of your time studying at the other time revising the things that you studied yesterday because you do not remember them at all I'm just here to say we are lost. If something happens to me, we don't know where it's theater, we don't know where the changing rooms is. We just did our first procedure. Okay, we are qualified now, ready for the payday. <laughs> I never thought we'd find the theater, but we did. No, I'm still hung up on the jaw thrust. Oh, oh. No. yeah, jaw thrust is something else. I didn't think, like, on the doors, it's a door. It's a door. Where are we going? We are supposed to be going there. Oh, yeah, because I know where the tube is. <laughs> Guess who's orientated, honey? Me. Okay, I think this. Oh, this is the end of day one. It's this way. It's so dark. The way we were lost earlier. Go. First procedure done, and it was original anesthesia. The main thing we learned was jaw thrust. Which she learned. I I couldn't get it. But it's part of learning. Had you not started, you wouldn't even know you can't do it. Um. Find me people to draw thrust. To draw thrust. <laughs> gonna draw thrust every five minutes like it. <laughs> draw thrust is painful if you're like fully awake mm. and your GCS is 15 out of 15. So anyway, we're taking a break now. None of us brought food because we don't want to <laughs> eat in the hospital. <laughs> we don't want to take off our masks, so there's that. Yeah, so we're gonna be here until either we were called we get called in for another case or if that's all for the day then we're gonna go because we are on call so meaning there's no planned cases it's just as it comes so if this is all that came today then that's all that came and then if there's more then there's more so yeah oh and i didn't i didn't check up on you guys before i left the hospital because we were so late okay so i just got I'm just get rid of my badge. So I just got back home and the doctor that we were with let us go early. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was like, he literally was like, okay, so we finished with this one case, took the patient to the recovery room, 
sorted her out and all of that and he was like no i don't think we're gonna be having any more cases anytime soon like in the next few hours and we had like about an hour about two hours like 90 minutes yeah two hours 90 minutes somewhere they left of our call and he was like go home so that made me super super happy because then i can get to even though it's just an hour like an hour less i can obviously use that hour to come back home come back to rest whatever take a shower make something to eat rest up a bit and study so some of the doctors do know that we have an end of block or an assessment in about two days and they will let you go off early from your call some of them make you stay the whole call so it just depends who you find and we were like kids find someone to let us go early i'm so excited because guys like like i'm not where i want to be in terms of studying so no 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 they by academics so i really just want to sit down and get as much studying done as possible um i think i'm going to end the vlog here for this day i don't know when next i'm going to vlog just because for the next few days i'll literally just be studying and going to hospital and let me go take a shower and feed myself child i'm not even that hungry i just feel like because i'm post call i feel like yo i'm post call i'm so tired but i'm actually not that tired so yeah but i'm very hot which is making me a little bit lethargic anyway let me stop rambling child um yeah i'll see you guys in the next clip so it's the day after my assessment the assessment went well it went okay but sorry i'm out of breath i literally just took did a speed walk from hospital um, it went okay, but it was quite a busy day because I had ICU in the morning, and then a test during the day, and I later had to go pre-op my patients, which is basically because um, anesthesiologists or the surgeons know who's going to get operated on tomorrow. You need to just go see them, take history, examine, see what will you do for them, what drugs will they need, what emergencies could possibly occur in theater basically sorry about the lighting basically the whole enchilada so that's what i had to do and my day ended at half past five or so so today again we started at rather i left my room at around 6 30 arrived at 7 so that we start today it's, i'm on obstetrics so it's like c-section c-section c-sections and i gave my first spinal <laughs> um the one who like injected the I'm the one who injected the drug into the patient's spinal and you know make them numb from not even the waist from like half of the chest down so that the surgeons or the obstetrician is able to like cut and take the baby out be able to do a seizure so I was super happy about that um it's a, it's a nice ball for me I'm super happy about it I did it well but obviously with lots with the doctor present giving me instructions tell me exactly what to do at what pace and everything but just for my hands to be able to do that or to get to do that is something that I've never done before so it's super exciting so yeah I just ran it's around half past one twenty to two I just ran to quickly grab lunch and to give a bit of an update and I'm literally running back to theater probably we're gonna finish around four and then I have to pre-op for tomorrow's list so yeah we'll see how that goes hope you all well <laughs> On this day, Stu and I had arrived early for our theatre case, so we were just being silly while waiting for the doctor to come and join us. I can't breathe. Oh my word, okay. So update, update, update. I don't know when last I did an update or when I last vlogged, but essentially since my test, I think I did update you guys on the test. Um, I had a test on Wednesday. Today is currently Sunday. I had a test on the Wednesday and it went well, just in case I didn't say it, it went well. I think it went okay. And I've been going to hospital since. But even before the test on Wednesday, I had been going to hospital. So today's Sunday and I have been working since last week, Sunday. Yes, I started going to hospital last week, Sunday. So I've been working for seven days straight for eight to nine hours every single day. Um, I'm tired. So today is a Sunday. So I worked from last week, Sunday till the Saturday. 
right i hope you're following so i worked from last week's sunday until yesterday which was a saturday so i worked seven days straight today's a sunday again right so it's been uh, it's a sunday again and today i'm not necessarily scheduled to be in hospital but I need to see patients for tomorrow. So I'm going into hospital anyway, even though I'm off. Um, because what happens is you need to see your patients before you like before their their surgery, before they do an operation on them, you need to know what's going on with them, what other comorbid comorbidities do they have, how will that affect the drugs that you give them, how will that affect the type of um, anesthesia that you give them and all of those things so that's what I'm gonna go do now I'm going to go see the patients I literally spent the entire day sleeping hey girl bit no I literally I've been sleeping the whole day I woke up at 3 o'clock which is an hour ago showered got dressed and I'm going to the hospital I'll eat when I get back just because I just want to see the patient come back and prep for their surgery so yeah that's essentially what's been happening what's happening that's basically what has been happening um yeah so tomorrow which is a monday marks my last week the start of my last week in anesthesiology and yeah it's been a great block but i am tired it's quite demanding in terms of the work hours but when i am in theater i don't really feel it because it's like you know you're doing stuff you're busy busy man so you don't really feel it i don't feel it until i get hungry then i'm like whoa what time is it but uh, i don't feel it until i get hungry most of the time it's like you need to do this for the patient you need to do that because the anesthesiologists that we that i've had so far have been amazing they've been letting me you know they've been teaching me they've been letting me do stuff so that has been amazing so let me go to hospital and see my patient for tomorrow i'm hoping it takes sorry a message came in and distracted me i'm hoping it takes an hour to 90 minutes max to pre-op um it is an obstetric patient so i've pre-opted an obstetric patient before um so i'm hoping it goes by much much quicker and tomorrow we can help the patients give birth which is like my favorite 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 like i love obstetrics i i don't know about the actual block but like when i'm in theater and we give birth i'm just like oh my gosh there's a new baby <laughs> anyway i hope you all swim well and yeah <laughs> Ba-da-ba-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da